old apps, new tricks. Oh, I like it. Plus, I'll show you how to take photos in the dark. And I found a robot therapist. <laughs> it's time for iOS Today. It's about time. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS Today is brought to you by Hover. Register a domain name and build your online brand with Hover. Visit hover.com slash twit to get 10% off your first purchase on any domain extension for the entire first year. And by Aftershocks, unbelievably comfortable open-ear headphones. Hear music and crystal clear phone calls like never before. Visit iostoday.aftershocks.com and use the code iostoday for $50 off the tech bundle. And by Aura Ring, the most accurate sleep and activity tracker. Visit AuraRing.com and use code TWIT for $50 off your purchase. <laughs> ah, yo, it's today time. Hello, Megan Maroney. Hello, Leo Laporte. Good to see you once again. I'm it's, glad to see you're wearing your puffy shirt. Yeah, yeah, the sleeves flap around. If I need to fly away, I can. This is a show where we talk about iOS stuff, but after Leo comments on my clothing. Right. That's part, it's become part of the morning ritual. Yes, exactly. You know, don't you do that, though? You, Hello, Mrs. Looper. It's a lovely dress you're wearing. Right. It's like, it's our hi, guys. Instead yeah, we don't do hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Like, you got to say it faster. Hi, guys. Comment so, on Megan's shirt. iOS means the iPad, the iPhone, the Apple Watch, and the Apple TV. <laughs> Go ahead, do that at home. <laughs> yeah, it's like YMCA. Right? YMCA. Uh, and today we're going to do, I think this is going to be a fun one. I think so too. Apps that you've known and used for a long time. And of course, app developers are always adding new features. It's old apps, but new tricks. Mm -hmm. And Megan has quite a few of them. I do. So first, uh, I want to just start with the new Slack logo, which is an old <laughs> app and a new. And trick. we talked a little bit about this the other day. And I, you know, I, I've gotten, I guess, used to it, even though it looks like rainbow water drops. But they changed it again. What? I was looking at the new Slack. new I don't logo. Even, I don't, you think you've even updated Slack? Because if you look, it's now got a white background. It's no longer that uh, eggplant. Oh, yeah. Plum. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, because I thought I saw the Slack logo on your iPad and it hadn't been updated. Um, oh, it has on my iPhone. Maybe not on the... Uh, yeah, maybe. yeah. yeah. Um, wow. So wow. That, that's it. Thank you, Slack. <laughs> New, wow. Uh, people can't... I mean, the, if it, it's... You look at it... I look at it a lot. I look at that icon. And it still looks too much like the Google Photos icon. To me, it's too me. busy. Um, that's yeah. really my, my, my real problem with it is it's just... There seems like there's a lot going on. In fact... If you if there's the Slack logo, if you squint a little bit, it just looks like um, a blot, kind of a blob. Um, I like, you know, this is an interesting issue. And, of course, designers will go on and on about this kind of thing. But I was told when we designed our Twit logo, which, as you could see, in fact, it's on the back of my, not the gear part, but just the, uh, the little, uh, little guy in there. Uh, I was told, make it so simple that you could embroider it on a hat, put it on a bumper sticker. Mm -hmm make a rubber stamp out of it. You want something without a lot of detail that's very recognizable mm -hmm. and that's easy to put in a variety of media. And I guess, I mean, the Slack logo is not that complicated, but size also, it should you should be distinctive at any size. Mm -hmm. And that's hard to do. I agree. We, uh, we go on and on about the album art. You know, we spend hours discussing our Twit album art. Because I'm of the opinion that it, you know, sometimes gets very small in iTunes and other uh, mm -hmm. podcast applications. And it has to be distinctive, even if it's tiny. Mm -hmm. And it used to have our pictures on it, and it doesn't anymore. What? <laughs> Didn't it? Remember all of yeah, our faces used to be on there? There's, uh, okay, there's a schism mm -hmm. <laughs> within the company over whether it should have pictures or not. Mm -hmm. I'm, I was the one who put the pictures on there, but that was 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and I guess people feel like... They're kind of out of date now. So Yeah. Um, all right. So Anthony is our creative director. He's replacing that with whatever he darn well wishes. I mean, mostly I don't like to see how my face ages over the years <laughs> and have to like better it's update not that for cartoon. for you. And it's a cartoon. We got Nitrozac to do those yes. of Nitrozac and Snaggy mm -hmm. fame. And she does such a great job mm -hmm. uh, with it. And, uh, I, you know, I thought it was kind of, 
You know, so if you ever get covered in the Wall Street Journal, if they ever do an article mm -hmm. about you, one of the cool things that happens is they'll do one of those ink dot images of you. And, you know, if that, that's an honor. You save that forever. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to do something like that for our hosts. Like, oh, it's a real honor. Now you're an official host because you have a Nitrozac portrait oh. of you. Should I then frame that? Yeah. Okay. I do love her work. She's um, great. All right, so more old apps, new tricks. Pandora has some new tricks. Yes, Pandora's got a lot of new tricks. For uh, one thing, they've got podcasts now, and we're in them. They do. Yes. Uh, they do have podcasts. So I stopped paying for Pandora a while ago, um, but mm. I might I might go back. Right now I'm uh, using the free virgin version, and they have stories. Have you heard of the Pandora stories? So um, I'll what's tell you that? Them. This is uh, a... Um, <laughs> is is that podcasts? It's podcasts and playlists together. Oh. Like music and podcasts in one playlist, which I have always been doing that. I have to say I've been syncing my um, iPad with podcasts and playlists since the late 2000s, two th maybe the early 2000s. Um, not, probably not the early So it's 2000s. from the artists? That it's both. So you could have like a breakup playlist. So it has some podcasts. And about then you tell your music. story. Um, you can. The artists create it. You could. You I'm could. confused. So it's created. So the so artists have to break up. You. So like only Tay Tay gets to make these. <laughs> let me show you the John Legend story that's okay. on my iPad. So um, we can listen to. Uh, hopefully. Hi, this is John Legend. I want to play this. Okay. Well, we'll have to want. Like I said, I. Oh, you got to watch an ad. Would you yeah. please play, pay for Pandora? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I already pay for Apple Music, See, this Spotify, is, and I think this is the problem Pandora video. faces. For uh, Pandora used to be fairly cheap, mm -hmm. and it, it, you'd pay for the ad-free radio. Mm -hmm. But now they're adding so much, and they're trying to be like Apple Music. They have music playlists, mm -hmm. and they have podcasts. And... So let's start my reward. <laughs> now you have to choose. You have to choose between... If this is John Legend, and today I'm going to share some of the stories behind my latest and greatest tracks. And I'll start with my brand new single, Preach, and go all the way back to the beginning. So this is what this is they're trying to make this be an exclusive, right? Right. So this is why you would want to pay for it. So it's or like, watch that yeah, ad. Which, it, see, I don't think those ads work. Did yeah. you not avert your eyes from that well, ad? Well, I think it was a Pandora ad. Oh. So I mean, We don't know, though, do it, we? Yeah, no. Because <laughs> we were averting our eyes. <laughs> Isn't that a weird thing? I don't know. Am I the only one who does that? But if I... If there's banner ads on a page or, mm -hmm. or uh, if they force me to look at an ad in a game, a lot of times games do that, I'll look away. I don't want to play their silly game. I'll <laughs> do that. Is that just me? Well, don't look away from our ads. Do not look away. Oh, I, I think <laughs> our ads are so good that you can't look away. Right, exactly. That's what I agree. So here's here's another play. Love songs that aren't really love songs. So here's another playlist. Oh, it's Some of our most cherished songs have all the ingredients for romance, but they contain an entirely different message. One that you may not want to represent your relationship at, say, your wedding. She has a lot of expressiveness mm -hmm. in her voice. Mm -hmm. So then there's a bunch of songs uh, there. And so, yeah, that's uh, and that's one new thing, new trick, the stories. I think it's interesting. Am I, I think gonna, it's a pain. Am I going to I just want to hear the music. Yeah. Well, I don't care like, what John Legend or anybody else says about it. Do you? That's like a DJ. Or like a DVD commentary. Those I like. But what happens is you watch the movie, and then if you want to know more, you'll watch the commentary or the extras. Mm -hmm. That I don't mind, and I, I'm actually happy that Apple has started to put more of those in. I'm actually buying more movies than Apple just for that. But this is different. When you go to a music app, the whole point is less talk. Otherwise, you'd listen to the radio. I guess, yeah, that's that's one. Pandora, light rock, less talk. <laughs> Uh, Pandora has podcasts as well. So here we that are. That I'm happy about. We're I'm not on, complaining uh, about that. We're on iOS. Uh, iOS Today is on here. All of the Twit podcasts now, are here. They just do audio though, right? They don't do mm -hmm. video. Just audio. Yeah. Um, so you can create collections. Um, Tech News Weekly here too. Nice. Um, so that I've collected So that. you only listen to your shows, obviously. Well, no, I have the daily here. Oh, you're sh on this network, you only listen <laughs> to your shows. Oh, on this network? No, that is not accurate. That's okay. It's okay. No judgment. I no judgment. I spend Sunday evening, Monday morning, parts of Tuesday, Wednesday, and a little bit of Thursday listening to Twit. That's more than I do. I can only take it I in like 17 minutes. I blocks. know. It's a lot of stuff. It's exhausting. It's wonderful <laughs> and educational, but... Um, That's going to be our new... Uh, <laughs> Twit. Slogan, Twit. It's, it's exhausting. exhausting. Okay, let me make sure. Yeah, that's that it. That's going to really raise um, the numbers. It's uh, exhausting. <laughs>
How about the podcast you can't listen to in one setting? Sitting. Or the podcast that's too long, but you like it. Well, it's like eating cupcakes. Cupcakes are exhausting. You can't eat yeah. all of them. One cupcake, good. Two cupcakes, not so good. Three cupcakes, you wish you never saw cupcakes. <laughs> okay, so look at the same me, way. Kevin. I'm collecting this week in tech in my Pandora. It's collections. okay. You don't have to. I'm just teasing it's you. Added to my collection. You know what? There's. I don't want. There's never any pressure. Never any pressure to listen to any of our shows. It's okay. all. It's a completely volitional thing. You can. It's voluntary. Do whatever you want. Okay. Good. Don't be exhausted. <laughs> Be enervated. Oh, um, I admit that's the same thing. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I just can't take it all at once, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Twit, you just can't take it all at once. All right, I like it. I've really gotten into trouble. So let me help with my assistant. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Hey. Okay, Google. <laughs> now you're making Siri mad. Okay. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. I want. Okay. So. Uh, Google Assistant now has Siri shortcut capabilities. Wait a minute. What? I know. The first result is from Reddit. What? <laughs> okay, so, so I... I don't, explain to me. Okay. I don't understand that at all. So I added Google Assistant to my uh, I, to my Siri shortcuts. You so want, do you start you? by talking? I don't... Okay, so here's my Google Assistant... And I guess I, any app can be part of shortcuts. Not any app, but so, okay, Google, add, okay, come back. Add, okay, Google to Siri. <laughs> Tap below. Oh. And so I can add it to Siri. <laughs> I can add it to Siri. Come on, Apple. We know you're not happy about this, but let's <laughs> not just mess with us, huh? It, it, it is. It's adding it. No, that's what you could okay, say. So, but no, you're supposed to. So uh, now I can. Okay, shush. Don't listen to me. Why is that microphone on? <laughs> Here, let's shut this down. <laughs> hey Siri. Okay, Google. What's uh, the weather? Who is Leo Laporte? That's not fair. You tapped it. That's not fair. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> Uh, so wait a minute. So let me get this straight. You say, hey, Shlomo. Yeah. And then immediately afterwards, you say, okay, Guillermo. Right. And then you get the Guillermo page, but you don't talk to Guillermo. You have to press the button to get Guillermo listening. Well, I didn't before. So I don't know if it's just a, you can, you can make it say, you know, you, your Siri shortcuts, you can use any vocal cues. So. This is actually what, you know, Microsoft did this. You could say, mm -hmm. hey, I, what is Cortana's nickname? I can't remember. Cortana. No, no, no. I'm trying to use the phony names for all this. We got Shlomo Alyosha, which is Amazon's Echo. I got Guillermo for Google. But who is, uh, I guess we never say Cortana. Let's make up a name. Cortado. Is that close enough? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you say, okay. So now you say, hey, Cortado. Open Alyosha. And then Alyosha starts. This is way too confusing. Let's try it this one like more time. like a bad time. Russian Here, show novel. Show my screen. We're going to do it one more time and it's going to work. Hey, Siri. Okay, Google. Okay. Hi. What's the weather? What's the it, it weather? It was listening. It was listening. It was listening. What's and, the and, weather? And Siri... It's sad. But you know what happened? They stepped on each other because Siri started to say, okay, and then Google jumped in and said, no, shut up. I got it. Okay. And then Siri said, well, the heck with you. And then what? That's like a battle of the assistants. <laughs> and then? And then. Then she showed me some assistance. Battling. Or he. Okay. okay. I get it, though. That's cool. Yeah. Actually, Shortcuts is a good example of an application that always learns new tricks. Right. Sometimes just adding new apps to your iPhone or iPad will enable new tricks because those it, those apps have to be written in such a way that they work with uh, Siri shortcuts. Uh, but you should always check because Apple's also adding capabilities right. all the so time. This so was, this is a great thing. I yeah, think. the newest update. But I don't know why it's not working on the iPad. See? Okay. <laughs> you got that last time. I know. It just stops. But okay. It, so this, is this Google Assistant? Yeah. Okay. Send a message. But it should let... I don't know. It, that's, that's Google Assistant. Okay. Saying it's raining. So that's it. Play the news. Okay. You know what started all this? With support from Oppenheimer Funds. 
funds. <laughs> Not the Oppenheimer funds. Pokemon Go started okay, all this yeah, because, you go, you go. as you know, our favorite game is always, uh, they're always adding stuff to our favorite game. And here is, I'll just get, oh, I wasn't going to get into it today, but I'll do it anyway. Oh, yeah, sure. Here is the new feature, which is actually really cool. Pick pick your favorite, what's your favorite Pokemon? Um, Snortapolicus. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Okay, here you go, Snortapolicus. <laughs> if I tap, this is actually going to be a giant one. We'll see if I can get him on the table. If I tap the uh, camera icon, they just added this. And they added a kind of a fun new feature. So now I aim it at something flat. Oh, yeah. You see it's twinkling? There's my that Snortapolicus. That means it's assessing the flatness. Mm -hmm. And you see that footprint? That means I can put him. Oh, I'm so close. I can't even get a shot of him. Let's see if I get farther and farther back. Oh, oh, there, oh he, there he is, but uh, we can't see him. There he is. There. Oh, he's on our table. He's adorable. He's, he's giant. Is he wearing leg warmers? Yeah, he's kind of a funny little guy. Okay. If you tap him, he'll do stuff. But then the other thing, the other thing is you could snap a picture of him too, which I'll do right now. Or just his legs. Yeah, I think that's mostly what I got. <laughs> and what you're... Here's the fun thing. Yeah, all I got was his legs. He's so big. He's about eight feet tall. I probably should yeah. have picked a smaller Pokemon. Yeah. So the key. So one of the things. It's kind of fun because what you're trying to do is not only get these great pictures. You know, here's a picture of a Bell Sprout. Um, she was on this week in tech, making it extra long this week. She just would not shut up. Mm -hmm. But one of the fun things is you're hoping in these pictures that you will be photo bombed by a Smurgle. All right. So the Smurgle is Karsten. a new Pokemon that you can't get in any other way. Karsten somehow has all your photos. He got photobombed. No, no, that's him. Oh. <laughs> that's an Abra sitting by our recycling bin. They often do that. There's a Smurgle. Now, I've only had this happen once, and my app immediately crashed, so I wasn't able to capture the Smurgle. But, Karsten, you got a Smurgle? Nice job, Karsten. So that is way too long to spend on this feature. Mm -hmm. But now you can do augmented reality images of your Pokemon in 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 your world. How how do you feel about dark mode? Do you like the dark mode in your apps? It depends on the app. Yeah, I do, and I think so. But I have a mixed feeling about it because one of the reasons dark mode is now everywhere is because Apple added dark mode to Mac OS in mm -hmm. Mojave, and I used it for a while. I didn't like it in my operating system, mm -hmm. but apps on my phone, especially apps that I read at night. I really like uh, dark mode. For instance, um, Reddit and Twitter, if you can go into dark mode, then you won't wake up your spouse mm. when you're sneaking at night a quick look at uh, your social media. So, mm -hmm. yes, I do like dark mode for that use. And it doesn't hurt your eyes as much either, right? I uh, Yeah. I mean, I'm always... Here's Narwhal. This is the Reddit app that I use on iOS, which I really like. And it has a choice of uh, light mode. In fact, you just tap this. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, yeah, it goes from light mode to dark easy. mode. Yeah. And I really think that's easier on the eyes, especially on a phone. Well, did you know that you can get it in Facebook Messenger now? If I used Facebook Messenger, I might know that. It's What I like about this, I don't really, I, I only use Facebook Messenger if I have to. And what I realized was that nobody really uses it anymore, so I haven't been there in a while. But you can, you can show mine because I checked all this. It's mostly just when I was trying to buy a bed for someone. Um, but... Uh, you have to do a little trick. You have to send the moon emoji to someone. Oh, you're kidding. And that puts it in dark yes. mode? Yes. Um, and I've already done That's it. That's funny. So let That's me clever. just uh, send myself a, the moon emoji. You know why there they do that? It's uh, it's one of those affordances that the kids will share with one another. And I think they learned from Snapchat that sometimes making... Those are apparently other GIFs that I sent to myself. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's apparently the old studio, I guess. So you haven't used this account in a while? Mm, I haven't sent myself one in a while, no. Oh, you could send yourself stuff. That's yeah. clever. Um, so let's go to the emoji. emoji keyboard, and it's this moon. Which moon? This this. Any moon? moon? No, it has to be that. It has to be the crescent moon? moon. Cres yeah, do you call that the crescent? Well, not that crescent moon, this crescent moon. Oh. Crescent moon without a face. It's a full moon without a face with a crescent. And let's hope that it... Does. Or as they call it in France, the croissant moon. Yeah, the croissant moon. And then, oh, did you see? Look, it's it's raining croissants. <laughs> yes, you unlock the feature, and then you have to go into oh, that's settings kind of cool. and turn on dark mode. So they, yeah, I really feel like this is uh, Facebook trying a little Snapchat ploy because remember yeah. Snapchat was really hard to figure out, and I I figured out in in my opinion that it was one of the secrets to its success that mm -hmm. teens would show each other they'd be like proud i know how to do that mm -hmm. show each other and it was a way of spreading virally mm -hmm. the app 
So maybe that's what Facebook's uh, doing. Because why else would they hide that? Yeah, I, I don't know. I like raining moons, though. There is an actual practical reason to have dark mode. It doesn't help you on your iPad. But if you have one of the newer iPhones with an OLED screen, dark mode actually uses less energy. When it's dark, it, uh, it only on OLEDs. On LCDs, uh, you have to light the whole screen anyway. Dark mode just means it's shuttered closed. But on, on a direct view OLED screen, it means that pixel, those pixels, fewer of those pixels are lit. And it, it actually significantly improves battery life. So use dark mode for sure. And I even use dark backgrounds uh, on my uh, iPhone because I want to I want to save battery life. Again, it doesn't do it on LEDs like the iPhone XR or the iPad, but it does do it on the 10, 10s, and 10s Max. I'm I have done. another another secret, another new new more old secrets app. signal. Love Signal. Old Do they app. have a dark mode now? No, they have a different new trick. Remember, dark mode is not what we're talking. We're talking about old apps. I know, tricks. but that would be a nice trick because Signal bugs me because it oh, doesn't don't have, have a dark, dark mode? mode. No, oh. not that I know of. Hmm. Signal is an encrypted messenger. It's actually the one that security gurus suggest if you really want to have private messages. They say, including Edward Snowden, he says, use Signal. Uh, so their new feature is the note to self feature. Oh, so like that messenger, you can send a, no, a, a message to yourself. Right. And it's Love encrypted. That. So oh, that's all nice you have to feature. do is either search note to self when you're in the uh, conversation area, or you can even actually surf search for yourself. Like I put Megan and it's note to self. Like, nice. And then I can say, this is a super secret encrypted note to myself or don't. Tell Leo, what and no one can I read that except you. Told you, yeah, right. that's really great. So that note self feature is a new feature in Signal. If you use, it's good if like I know a lot of reporters use Signal. If you gotta add some notes from Open Whisper Systems, it's the only really truly encrypted. You know, Facebook Messenger will say we're encrypted, uh, but Facebook can still read your messages. Mm -hmm. And so if you if you want to message somebody without anybody, and a lot of dissidents, people who live in countries where it's not safe sometimes to express your opinions, a lot of them use a Signal. Mm. We hope Signal stays strong. I do. I do. Stay strong, Signal. Okay. I have one more. Mm -hmm. One more. I had some other buzz, but, you know, they're not as great as I remembered them. But this is... <laughs> Uh, you can now, you know, Pocket Cast is my favorite. That's the best. My favorite best. podcast app. And now you can use it on your Amazon Echo. What? So, yes, which I love because I, you can listen to podcasts on your Amazon Echo yeah. through TuneIn. Um, there was another, I think it was called um, AnyPod. That was an app that I found that you could. In most to. cases, certainly for ours, you could just say, Aliosha. Listen to iOS Today podcast right. and it'll play. But as I told you, I enjoy my twit in pieces and I don't like having to then fast forward oh. to this place in twit where I was when I'm you're in the right. car it always listening starts to at the beginning. Cast. Yeah. So you can just, what you're listening into the car, if you have a Pocket Cast account, then it will sync across all um, all of your devices, including your Amazon. Oh, that's Echo. really, that's so really nice. So now when I'm in, you know, moment 42 of, quit and I am like it's just too much it's too much knowledge and I want to continue later when I'm folding laundry with my Amazon Echo then I can just you just have to enable it connect your pocket cast account to your Amazon account and then you've got it would it help if we made twit 15 minutes long would that make you feel better no I like I like spreading it out throughout the week <laughs> okay I'm sure you're not alone. <laughs> there, there, are, there is a, actually, as long as we're talking podcasts, let, don't forget that Apple's own podcast app has recently added a feature that you can use, finally use the Apple Watch with podcasts. We always used Pocket Cast because mm -hmm. it had an Apple Watch. Mm -hmm. But now if you use Apple Podcasts, oh. there is an Apple Watch. Well, you do have an old app new trick. Yes, that's my second. <laughs> I can come up with more if you'd like. Yeah, so you too could come up with more. I went through There's my a lot. updates and you just go, I, I was like, oh, look at all oh, that. that was and easy. I realized like that's where a lot of the yeah. articles you see, that's where they get that information. People yeah. just scroll through what's been updated in your apps. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of scrolling through, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you have no way of getting to have where we need to go. Through uh, the list of clothes.com that's my website what is it goatswearingclothes.com <laughs> and i got the url 
I always yeah, laugh Hover. at Hover. Yeah, I always <laughs> laugh at that goats wearing clothes. Hover is the domain registrar we all use. And I, I really uh, appreciate Hover because they make it very easy for you to get a custom domain name. So easy that I now have dozens. Many of us have hundreds. It's fun. It's not expensive. And Hover doesn't make you click through a whole bunch of pages just to get a domain name. They know you're there to get a domain name. They have more than 400 TLD extensions. You know what that .com is an extension, .net. But they also have something like, oh, a .me is very popular, .me. Um, that's often used for personal portfolios, personal websites. I think one of the reasons to get a domain name, and parents, you might want to consider this, I like to get a domain name for our kids, uh, like abbylaporte.com. And I did that when they were very little because eventually I think everybody needs to have a website. I'm a firm believer in that or email at that name. And uh, if you start them young, they can start putting stuff there right there then. And that way Google search, when people search for their name, will find the best stuff, the stuff they've put up there. So abbylaporte.me would have been a good choice as well. Kind of it's a signal. That's what we use those TLDs for. It's a signal uh, to say this is, you know, my site about this. Uh, I, I use .email now for my email, which is which is awesome. Uh, .ninja, I use that for all of my secret assassin uh, work because, you know, I do that behind the scenes secretly. Uh, .pizza, I do that for whenever I want to overeat. Mm -hmm. So you can find many, many, 400. Uh, why use a generic when you right. can use .republican or .democrat? Wear your heart on your sleeve and your and your and your thoughts on your domain name. Dot is great for a resume too, by the way. You know that's a that's that's kind of as a future employer. Um, you know, you see the dot me with your name, Mark Fraunfelder dot me. You know, this is his this is his mm -hmm. about me page. Goats wearing clothes dot me. You would know. I wouldn't do goats wearing clothes dot me if would I were you. you. Do goats wearing clothes dot com would be good. Dot pizza. Dot pizza. Ooh. And actually, if you go to hover.com slash twit, and I'll tell you why you want to do that in a second, and then just put in your your name, your first name or your full name, and it will tell you all of the domain names you can get associated with your name. And it's kind of fun. I have many, many Leo and Laporte uh, domains with f like Laporte.io, you know. My URL shortener is Leo.ist. Leoist. Oh, get it? Good. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So. The other thing that's really great about Hover is, besides the fact they don't try to upsell you, you know, it's just a very straightforward transaction. They have Hover Connect, which makes it incredibly easy for you to take your, for instance, WordPress.com blog and attach it to Hover or Squarespace or whatever you use for your website. Um, just a few simple clicks and you're set up. But they give you a full and, and I think very sweet DNS management. Hover is really awesome. And it's so important, if you ask me, to keep your domain name separate when you get a website from your hosting because it is they aren't attached and they shouldn't go together and we, whatever you do if you go out and get a consultant to design a site for you this is a trick a lot of consultants do they say oh no no i'll register the domain for you and then it's in their name and they got you for life buddy so do it yourself i don't be intimidated it's easy if you go to hover.com slash twit You'll save an additional 10% off any of the domain extensions offered for the first year. And since we're going to celebrate .me, you want to become your own best advocate, the .me domains are on sale this month only at Hover for $9.99. Plus, if you go to Hover.com slash twit, you'll get 10% off that. So, that's a pretty good deal. Hover.com slash twit, 10% off your first purchase. And remember, it's a sale right now on .me extensions. Besides that, they have great customer support, no upsells, a very easy to use interface. It's just, you know, it's just a natural. That's where I do all my hover. And we were talking on the weekend. Somebody said, should I have hover do my email? And I said, I don't know if they do that. And I checked and they do offer that. And in fact, they have a very good email service. If you don't want one of the biggies, you know, one of the, you know, the Googles of the world to host your email, hover is a great choice for that too. And, and you can get a nice domain name if you want. Hover.com slash Twit. Big savings right now on those dot me domains. We've got some stuff. You have some stuff. I have some stuff. Much stuff. Do you want me to you want to talk about your I stuff? I have talk the about TV your stuff strap. First. This <laughs> I just I want I have to thank uh Rich. This is a really cute thing. It doesn't have anything to do with iOS. It maybe it has to do with Apple TV, though. If you ever watch uh, you know, ESPN or one of the sports networks, you know they and you're and we do this all the time. We tr you know, like for the Super Bowl. 
we DVR'd it. And we we had to go nee, 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 not look at Twitter, not look at Facebook because you don't want to know the score ahead of time. And then the stupid sports channels put the score across the bottom, like the so. This is uh, Dick D. Bartolo found this. Um, it was created by Rick. He says I'm a retired communications network project manager, and I invented this the TV jock strap for my wife, and made it a product, hopefully to pay for my grandkids' college educations. So look for his Kickstarter campaign. Later this month, he's trying to raise money for national advertising. <laughs> this is, I just love this idea. This is, you attach this to the bottom of your TV, and it's adjustable, so it works on any size TV, just to hide the ticker. Mm -hmm. Just to hide the ticker so you don't ever see the scores. Isn't that a great idea? I came the, up with a tagline for him. As not seen on TV. Oh! Get it? I like it. The TV jockstrap, <laughs> as not seen on TV. So, Rich... There's your plug. They do sell it now on Amazon for 20 bucks, but there is a Kickstarter coming soon. You can help support them. Isn't that, I think it's so clever. Hide the scores. Enjoy life with a TV jock strap. Uh, um, do you want me to do the other one? Because I got another well, email. Well, I have one. Go and ahead. Then, no, we're, we're talking about stuff now. This isn't quite as classy as the TV jock this strap. This is a stuff But But um, this is the classy. Mujo case. You know, I'm always searching for a new case. The bullet journal case? Uh Mujo. Oh, Mujo. M U J J J O. Have you heard of them? No. Um, so this is a wallet case, but I nice. you know the, the wallet case that I have been using. I love Nomad, but this is the wallet case that I have been using, and it's sort of bulky. Oh, that's a trifold. It's kind of bulky. so. Here's the question I always ask with a wallet case. I and as you know, I use the Apple Folio, which is mm -hmm. kind of pricey at ninety nine bucks, mm -hmm. but it does the one thing I really want a, a wallet case to do, which is charge. With the case mm -hmm. on. Yeah, this you mean charge wirelessly. Yeah, wireless charging. Yeah. I love that. Mojo, yes. I bet, won't because... No, it, it does. It does? It does, yes. But Most, your credit cards are where the wireless charging is. Yeah, but it goes through them. Oh, nice. Well, you know what? Depends That's what you put good... in there. If you put one of those metal credit cards, it probably wouldn't Yeah, work. but if you just put, if you just put a money in there, in there huh, yeah. Um, now I know where you keep your money. a good question. I'm going to have to come back next week and tell you whether it goes through the credit card. because I guess you could, I mean, you probably want to take your credit cards out before you charge it anyway. Um, so this is a Dutch company. Um, this it's one, less than Apple's, which is nice. Yeah, it's about $52. It's depending nice leather. On, yeah, depending yeah. on the exchange rate, it's around 52 So that's not a folio. And that's the other thing I dislike about folio cases like yours mm -hmm. and like mine is they get thick. Yeah. It's hard to stick this in the back pocket. So yeah. I, I really like this. It has... You know, holes in all the right places, and it's nice and easy to get on and off, too. I like that. So, Mujo. M-U-J-O. J-J-O. Two J's. M-U-J-J-O. So, that's actually not Mujo, but Mujo. Mujo. Yeah, say the J twice. It's pronounced Mujo. 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 Okay. Now. Mujo. Okay. So, I want it. Have you heard of the moment lenses? I do. I love those. Did you get some? I... Did. Again, the drawback to the moment is you need a special case to hold the lenses, but it turns an iPhone into a multi-lens device that's really cool. Look at that case. Yeah, okay, so this... Looks like a shaving this case. This case is from This Is Ground. Oh, um, that's different. I bought the... Okay. They have... Uh, they sell their samples. We love This Is them, Ground, um, as you so know. So, and I got this, yeah. and it fits my moment cases perfectly. perfectly and and with a few uh, pentons in there yeah. and wires. And okay, so here are the two lenses that Moment sent me. This one is the Tele Lens. Um, you can open that one. It's telephoto. Mm -hmm. And then the other one uh, is the wide angle wide angle yeah. lens. So you can see on the construction how this works. It's uh, the on one side is a is a opening that's a, a, almost exactly the same size. In fact, I think it probably is exactly the same size as the camera opening on your iPhone. But there's lens optics in here, and if I take the lens cap off, you'll see at the other end it's it's wide. It's like a telescope, right? Do In fact, you probably, if you look closely, you could probably see its magnification. So, And these are nice. They're made of metal. They're very solid. This is a 58 millimeter effective, or is not effective. I don't know. Should I put it on? I need um, a special do, case. The, so they've paired with Nomad, which is the case maker that I really oh, like nice. to make these special leather cases. They come in black I and am brown. a fan so of the Nomad cases. Here, um, Let me release. Release the release iPhone. iPhone. Which I always have difficulty doing. It's well, well and truly trapped. Forty nine ninety five is that's the case. The case. Then is remember the lenses you have to purchase, and the they're lenses, what about a hundred bucks. Um, let's take a look at those. This lenses. is a nice. Let me show you the case just so you can 
see it. It looks like a regular case, but notice that the, the camera opening is kind of oddly notched, and mm -hmm. that's so that you can slide this lens in. Now, this is kind of interesting. It looks like you can choose w which lens you use. Mm -hmm. So you can go into the bo uh, the bottom lens. Do they tell make a recommendation for that? Because if you have a 10s, you yeah, have two you have lenses. Yeah, if you have a 10s, yeah, then and the 10s Max is different. So they they have the cases for the 10s and the 10s Max, um, and it doesn't. I don't know which. I'm not sure which camera Whoa. is which camera. See now, if I go to the telephoto, I, it's black because the Momo is on top of it. So let's the so, Momo. <laughs> <laughs> that's what us who are friends of the okay. moment call it. They're 119 dollars. Um, the lenses. Yeah, that's about 100 bucks. So now I've got it. Telephoto. I must have done it wrong. I noticed when I was trying line it up. It, see that line? I did do it wrong. I. I noticed that sometimes the oh, um, it's good. camera would stop as well. I'm planning on doing a full review of these on our show. On hot? Hot, hands-on tech. Um, I, haven't I don't know had why I have a picture of my credit card. That's not really what I wanted. <laughs> I, do I don't know the what. There we go. The now, selfie camera on. No, go ahead. Yeah, so the issue is I had it on. Uh, here, sh 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 show me. So if it's on... If it's on the wrong lens, you see now it's kind of occluded by the uh, moment. Mm -hmm. But if I if I go to the right lens, now it's going to be telephoto. And it, it really is telephoto. I mean, it's it's going way the heck out there. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. So you get to decide. I guess that gives you even more flexibility with these lenses because you just you put them where you want them. Do you want me to... Do you have the wide angle? Do you have that uh, mm -hmm. available? Yep, there's right, the wide angle. let me put angle. the lens cap back on. So that was on. the telephoto. Here's yeah. the wide angle and so i guess and i'll look forward to your review because i guess they probably have a recommendation i'm thinking you put the wide angle on the top lens because that's the iphone's widish lens the problem with the iphone is they're 20 effectively 28 millimeters and uh 50 something millimeters which means it really isn't telephoto it's just more zoomed in than um than uh it would so i'm going to put this on the top one which is a 28 millimeter and then see what was then then we'll see what we get now i'm going to press the sink oh now it's really wide see i can even get your whole head in the mm -hmm. shot which is that is a much more wide angle shot i kind of like that let's get more people oh I'm making a movie let's not make a movie here <laughs> um look at that that's pr that's pretty cool and i can get in really close mm. this is one of the things i like about wide angles i can get in really close <laughs> and get those flattering wide angle shots. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> that is really They're so attractive. Nice. Uh so <laughs> my nose didn't even fit in that wide angle. It was so <laughs> well I was pretty close. Yeah. So I like that. That's really neat. So um, that's it's not quite fisheye, but it's it's pretty wide. What do they, they say? They do have a fisheye as well. Yeah, they I think they do. Too. So yeah. they say this is 18 millimeters. That's the wide. That's pretty wide. And they say the tele lens is 58 millimeters. So it's not again not super tele. But it gives you a lot more flexibility. The problem is you do have to carry these around. Yeah. And they're fairly bulky and heavy. And, they, and they you need a special case. case. And then there's a lens pen here as well. Because um, they get fingerprinty. Yes. Yeah. So you can... Uh, so I did... Yeah, I've been trying to take some photos with it, but it's been so rainy. But I did... Um, so, yeah, I did take a few photos from the moment that it stopped raining. And... Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Is that's pretty just a cool. few photos, but um, expect a full review on Hands On Tech um, soon. 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 The moment. And uh, Nomad and Moment sent us these samples. And, and the Nomad the case is, is actually nice. That's actually uh, yeah a good thing because you can still have a nice case mm -hmm. with wireless charging and everything, and uh, and hold the moment, mm -hmm. the Momo. I know you really want to answer that question, but we have some news first. Oh, let's do the news. That's fine. I don't need to answer the question. Yeah, you do. But I am gonna, I am gonna send this to you because I think it'd make a. Oh yeah, please do. A really it. good profile picture yeah, from now on. Exactly. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. You really. I mean, this should be on <laughs> all of really your uh, social networks, that, media. Uh, <laughs> What's great is it could be that nose keeps on going. You don't really know. <laughs> you don't know. You it don't could know. be like another foot. <laughs> You exactly. could be like Pinocchio. All you know is it's pretty big to begin with, and okay. then you don't know what how much bigger it's going to get. I really love my job. It's good from a distance, too. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, okay, so last week, remember, we briefly talked about how uh, there was the Google Home feature on, or the Apple Music feature on the Google Home app, and we suspected that means that meant that Apple Music, yeah. that was just a bug. Google Apple said. denied it. Yeah. Um, and Google denied it. Or uh, rather, Google, Google denied, denied it. Google denied it. Which is odd. Bug. That's not a bug when that happens. That's not a bug. A bug? Really? A bug? Yeah, well, that's what they said. But, I mean, it could have been. What kind of they're bug would that be? Yeah, I don't know. Well, it, yeah, it was showing Apple Music with Google Play It was Music in the code. Yeah, so someone just accidentally typed the code to put yeah, it's a bug. Apple Music show up there. Anyway, so. They actually, their response was more like, we have nothing to say at this time than anything else. So. Yeah. Uh, eh. Um. You want to take a look at the best photos taken with the iPhone? I love this. So every year Apple does this shot for iPhone contest. Uh, and remember, they got a little heat because it didn't say explicitly that we'd buy the pictures. Mm -hmm. But of course, they bought the pictures. Many of these are professionals. And man, they're all beautiful. And what, what they had, Phil Schiller was a, uh, one of the judges. Mm -hmm. uh, he's an avid amateur photographer. They had professionals as well. And these images, I think one of the reasons they picked them, here's an example, this That's raccoon. Isn't that great? Black and white shot raccoon looking through a tree log. And the reason they picked this and Phil Schiller even said this, is it demonstrates uh, some of the capabilities of the iPhone. In this case, with HDR, they could get both the details in the log, which is presumably pretty dark, and then what would be much more brightly lit, you know, probably backlit, a raccoon, and, and make it with the HDR so that you could see all the detail. And it really is a gorgeous shot. So these were not merely great photography, but also showed off some of the features of, uh, of the iPhone. Also, you could defend I love this yourself next one. Look at against this. the raccoon with your iPhone. This looks like you. a painting almost. It's, of course... A reflection. Uh, my favorite is the next one, though, which is also a reflection. Nope, that's neat. That's neat graphically. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's more. There's more. This is my favorite. It's a, a heart shape. This is kind of hard to figure out unless you turn it upside down. It's a heart-shaped puddle. And a woman uh, in the reflection of the heart-shaped puddle looks like she's the one walking. But if you turn it, you can rotate it, can't you, Kevin? Don't you have a button to... Oh... Then the shot makes a little more sense. You oh. see, you see, the woman is actually at the top, and the what we thought was the actual walker is in the reflection of the puddle. And that's not quite as cool as the uh, as the way the photographer uh, did it. But it just shows a great creativity and talent, mm -hmm. but also how you can do such great work with an iPhone. You really can. I mean, you just showed that off with that portrait of me that you just took. Perfect. I should have. <laughs> oh, darn it. I'll submit it next year. Yeah, please Shot do. with iPhone. Please do. Um, <laughs> I think these are all shot with iPhone without moment lenses. These, yeah. are, these are just pure right. iPhone shots. So you couldn't have gotten that beauty of my eyelid without the <laughs> No, you needed lens. the moment to really capture that moment. Uh, Mac Rumors says Samsung is offering foldable displays to Apple and Google. <sighs> I think this comes from an Apple patent, which to me is not the best signal of what Apple intends. Remember, these companies are all patenting everything they think up as much for defense as f because they plan to actually do it. But yes, there was an Apple patent submitted with a foldable phone. Uh, Samsung's doing a lot of companies are doing it. I don't see Apple doing a foldable phone, but maybe. One of the things you learn from the patent is how, uh, how tough it is for a foldable phone to survive. And we have no more news about the March event. We don't know when it's going to be for sure. We think maybe March 25th, but we don't oh, know. Oh, speaking of patents, Scooter X reminds me. Remember our, uh, I don't think we have Lighthouse. one here. i got to bring it in. Our uh, sponsor that made this really incredible security camera mm -hmm. that did 3D uh, face recognition, had built-in time-of-flight LiDAR, mm -hmm. some really nice technologies. Unfortunately, all those, and AI, all those technologies made it, I think, perhaps priced it out of the market at $300. Uh, although I bought one and, and I've been using it, uh, they've turned off the service. But we found out in December, Apple bought all their patents, all their intellectual property. And I think that was actually a good move on Apple's part because yeah. there's some really cool stuff in there. Who knows? Maybe the next HomePod will have a security camera. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I want you to be able to answer that email. You're very excited. You've been checking your email and responding and everything. But first, uh, I want to talk about our favorite headphones. Oh, gosh, I love these. These are the aftershocks. And, you know, I find myself, sometimes I'll go to bed and I'm still wearing them because they're so comfortable. And it's a great way to talk on the phone. Aftershocks are a unique patented headphone. They use bone conduction technology 
The headphones don't go, let me, in fact, I should probably show you, they don't go inside your ear. They go outside your ear. And there's a real reason you might want to do that. For instance, if you're a runner or uh, you, you're exercising out in public, you don't want to lose the ability to hear what's going on. So your ear is not covered up. The, the aftershocks sit on your temple outside your ear, and yet the sound is great. The bass is fantastic. The, 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 uh, the sound quality is very, very good. I listen to audiobooks all the time. It's also uh, Bluetooth. So it, and it also has a microphone, so it can be used to answer the phone. And from now, this is like my new way of doing phone calls. I just, and because they're so comfortable, I have them on all the time. It's my new way to listen to audiobooks as well. They're sweat and moisture resistant, so you can run in them. Uh, they have, a, I like this. Unlike the AirPods and other um, headphones that just sit in your ear, these have a titanium, very lightweight, very flexible titanium wraparound band. So it keeps it in position very nicely. You'll really enjoy crystal clear phone calls and music. Premium pitch guarantees a premium audio experience, wide dynamic range, rich bass. It's got wireless Bluetooth 4.1 connectivity, uh, six hours of continuous music and calls on a single charge, 10 day standby time. And I'll vouch for that because I often just, you know, I get, get, get in bed and I go, oh, I still have my aftershocks on. I'll take them off. Or a lot of times I'll listen in bed to a book. And then when I get sleepy, take them off. And, I can go three days listening to a book without charging. They charge fast, about an hour and a half. You get a hassle-free two-year warranty. Aftershocks are safer for driving. They're safer for outdoor activities because you can hear emergency vehicles. You can hear cars coming up behind you. I wear them when I'm biking. Again, same reason. You want to be able to hear traffic before it hits you. <laughs> so wearing these is safe. I don't wear in-ear monitors when I'm, uh, when I'm out there in uh, public. We've got a great little tech bundle for you. It includes the uh, Trex Air. A pop socket for your phone, large portable storage case, and a portable power bank and travel tumbler that has insulation. So you like get the whole Aftershocks thing, and you're going to get $50 off. iOS today dot aftershocks.com. iOS today dot aftershocks.com. And Aftershocks is spelled with a Z. So it's S H O K Z. Use the code iOS today at checkout for $50 off on that tech bundle offer valid in the u.s only i think you're gonna really like these i was uh skeptical and now you and i both wear them all mm -hmm. the time and I, I, it is now my absolute go-to for phone calls ios today.aftershocks.com use the code ios today for 50 dollars off that really nice aftershocks tech bundle all right, so we got an email. You got an email from Tamar. She was so cute. She said, I'm a grandma, and I want to be with the hip kids. And uh, what that means is I want to be able to watch your shows and be in our chat room. How can I do that on an iPad? She said, that's all I have is an iPad. So this is uh, what I told Tamara. First of all, you need to download a free app called Pipifier, and it's on the App Store. P-I-P, -P, picture in picture a fire. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's open source. It works in Safari. It's a little complicated to get it working. That's the only negative. Fortunately, if you launch Pipifier, they give you a kind of a step-by-step. -step. And I also uh, uh, have posted this, or I'm going to post this as a uh, tip in the, on the Tech Guy show. So I'll, I'll walk you through it so you can see it. It takes advantage of, uh, of a really nice feature of Safari, which is the share menu. So I'm going to go to Safari, and I'm going to open YouTube. And I'm gonna. There's our YouTube live. And again, there's no, there's nothing you can do. But if you if you open the share sheet, you know that's the box with the upward pointing arrow. That's where you would share it to friends or family or whatever. Down on the bottom, you can add additional capabilities. So you tap more, and not that. I don't know why LastPass is launching. I oh, because it's oh, it knows we're going to its cocktail party tomorrow. That's why <laughs> I tapped LastPass, which has a similar three dot that's what it oh, is yeah see not the not that three dot that three oh. dot at the very end you type more and you'll see there's a, actually this is a great tip in general go through here because as you add apps for instance i added uh, pythonista now i can run a script from uh, safari as a share sheet um, but you'll find run pipifier once you've installed it you have to install it and then it'll show up as a possible activity you switch it on it's off by default when you now you press done Okay, and that will add Pipifier to this bottom list of capabilities. Think of it as like almost a services menu, right? So there's Pipifier. So watch this. I'm going to run Pipifier on on this now. Capabilities. Oops, I don't want to like make a sound, a but I do want to. 
I can now pipify it. See over here? Pip. Whoops. And there it <gasps> is. Pipified it. Now, there it goes. Now it's now it's reduced. There it is. And you can size this if you want. You know, you want to, if you want to see it a little bit better, you just use two fingers to size it and so forth. So for some reason, uh, maybe I misunderstood it, but I, I, YouTube seems to have taken out the capability of uh, of watch of pipifying from uh, the browser or even from the app. But if you add pipify, it will. In fact, that's why they wrote pipify. Hmm. I think that's a nice feature. Uh, you can even use it if you want with uh, with other chat apps. I use, as and I mentioned this before, Mutter, which is my favorite chat app, and this will still work in a corner. In fact, Mutter has a little bit more space for it to work. So here we are in chat, and I can have my chat with also with a video running at the same time. That's kind of cool. And she definitely heard you say talk about Mutter because she said she has a new iPad and I could do a split screen and Mutter the two, but I don't know what that means. Mutter <laughs> is the app. Mutter it was my app cap. Uh, so she must watch the show. Yeah, we use we use Mutter. Uh, I use Mutter as our IRC channel, but you can also use Safari to do it. So I'm not sure uh, why Apple switched this. Um, uh, and we're not talking split view. Some people are like Beatmaster in the chat room said, well, you can watch Twitch and split view it. Yeah, but I think really for it, maybe that's another way to do it. And there, uh, but I think the, what I really like to do is a picture in picture. You can make it any size you want, and then you have the full screen of chat. That just seems like a sensible way to do it. What's weird is it used to be there, and uh, I I don't understand why they took it out. But now with Pipify, it doesn't matter. So we love getting videos from you, and Tony sent us a video. Tony Tony sent us a video in the past, and you said he looked like a school principal, and you were a little bit scared of him. So that just want to lay that foundation before we play. I want to point out, I was right. He he's not a school principal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that maybe he really is, and he he even doesn't know it. Watch yet. this video. You tell me. Leo and Ms. Megan, Principal Tony here. <laughs> the question from the principal's office. <laughs> I was looking at my iPhone the other day and checking the battery usage, and I saw this. And what the heck is that, no cell coverage? I mean, I understand what no cell coverage means, but what would cause it to show up using power from my battery? Does this mean that it's using more power to connect to Wi-Fi because there's no cell coverage in the area that I'm at? I'm a little bit confused. Maybe you can help me. Also, if you have 15 more seconds, Mr. Leo, I'm talking to you. I'm a little disappointed. Oh boy! That you canceled the new screensavers. Yes, sir. I, it was a nice part of my day watching the show <laughs> yes, on a Saturday sorry. afternoon I know, I'm from sorry. my Apple TV. I yep. didn't listen to it from a podcast. Watched it live. Um, so be it. I guess I'll have to settle for another show. And uh, that you do. I think it's something you sit behind a desk and answer questions about computers. It's called like the check guy or <laughs> yeah. The the check magnet, I or think. Or something like yeah. that. But okay, so be it. I'll 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 take a look at it. Anyway, hope you guys are well. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so I thought he was admitting that he was a principal. <laughs> no, he's, he's just adopting the the, the right. sobriquet. So he was. Principal so Tony. we always ask for videos, and then you often comment on the people videoing, which it's what I do. Which is why we don't. But last time he was wearing. Do you a think tie. that's why we don't get videos? People are like worried. Maybe I'll say something mean. Uh, he looks like. I'm sorry. I want to correct myself. Not the principal. The vice principal. You know, the one in charge of discipline. <laughs> That's what he looks like. So he was wearing a tie last time. He said, maybe I won't wear a tie this time so Leo won't think I'm a principal. And I was like, oh no, wear the tie. Uh, he looks great. <laughs> Tony, I'm just giving you a hard time. So, okay, do you know what that no cell coverage yeah. thing is? So, and this is actually a very important thing to remember. When you're in a weak cell area or you can't get cell coverage, your iPhone works extra hard to try to reconnect. And so it's actually the case that you're going to get much worse battery life in weak cell areas or areas with no coverage as the iPhone spends battery trying to find a signal. So, uh, and, and Apple's actually acknowledging that by putting that, I'm glad they do, in the battery uh, segment. This is the 3% of the battery use was us in an at some point you were in an area with no or weak signal and we had to work extra hard. So that is, it's absolutely the case that people who are in a strong cell area will have better battery life than people like us out here, us country mice out in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what that is. No cell, ooh, whose is that? No cell coverage, 8%. That's when you start to worry. If it goes higher than your uh, home screen percentage, which is usually the highest, then that really is depleting battery in a significant way. So 
Um, that's something to be pay attention to. Tony, you probably go places uh, where you know you're just out of out of connection, mm -hmm. or even a weak connection will give you that. A weak connection is the worst because it sometimes. I, I, best, I bet it doesn't ever give up trying to get that signal. It keeps trying and losing, trying and losing. My battery used to drain so fast in San Francisco. Oh, isn't that funny? Because, That's exactly the opposite, I would well, think. Well, or maybe because it was all the buildings. Oh, because like you, you get, get bad. To, yeah. I don't know. Depends on your carrier, right? Yeah, that was Sprint. Yeah. Oh, you were Sprint. Okay, yeah. never mind. <laughs> Enough it's said. Not, I've given up Sprint. Sprint in San Francisco is terrible. And that's exactly why. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you had... Uh, AT&T, Verizon, or even T-Mobile in San Francisco where there's strong coverage, mm -hmm. you'd get better battery life because you had weaker coverage, you got worse battery mm -hmm. life. Shall we talk about our Aura rings? We love our rings. Mm -hmm. I've been, you probably notice we wear these all the time now. Aura is a, it was a really cool story. Kevin Rose uh, was on triangulation and I, I noticed he was wearing this pretty ring. I said, what's that? He said, oh, it's my Aura. I said, what do you mean? He said, O-U-R-A, my Aura. Uh, it's an activity tracker and a sleep tracker. Oh, he said, yeah, I'm, I'm consulting with them. They're really neat. And uh, he, he said, would you like me to get you one? And I said, yes. Harpreet came on uh, the new screensavers, explained how this worked, and I was blown away. Uh, and so uh, I said, you've got to, you've, we've got to tell the world about this. I want you to buy some advertising. And he did. First of all, it's very light. It's titanium. By the way, it means not only it's light, it's tough. It is a diamond-hard carbon coating on top of lightweight titanium. That makes it light, but also super strong, uh, hypoallergenic. It's not going to bother your finger. And see the sensors in here? The thing that makes the Aura Ring unique and fantastic, it has more sensors than anything else. So it's got an infrared optical pulse measurement in here. And measuring it now, of course, there's pulse measurement in an Apple Watch, but it's not nearly as good on a wrist as it is on a finger because you've got veins going through the side of your fingers and it's much more accurate. So you're going to get the best heart rate information. And that's more than just heart rate. It's also something really important, which is heart rate variability. That is, I had never heard of that, but it's a statistic that's very important. Heart rate variability contributes to your readiness and you'll get a readiness score every day from aura well that was a good day 80 ooh, 91 you were really ready i was really ready in 91 so uh, if i tap it by the way one of the nice things about it is you can get all sorts of additional information uh from the aura ring also body temperature it measures that very accurately and that's important too because your body temperature will start to elevate. In fact, I can show you over 30 days my body temperature. This is a really great uh, uh, indicator of overall health. And when you combine it all, you get this readiness score. And I use the readiness score to kind of tell me how hard I should work out, whether I should take care of myself. Maybe I need a nap because of my sleep. Here's the sleep score, sleep balance optimal. Uh, activity balance optimal. I had good activity that it keeps track of your activity. Of course, absolutely. It's got, uh, I should mention all the sensors in here. So not only is it uh, measuring uh, your uh, heart rate with its optical pulse measurement, but it also has a 3D accelerometer, a gyroscope, and as I mentioned, the body temperature. And it can, you because it's a ring, it's easy to wear at night. I wear it every night. That's where you'll get your resting heart rate. You'll get your body temperature. All of this information is really valuable. You get bedtime guidance, sleep quality measurements. You get to track your sleep stages, your trends over a period of time. You get to prove how what a better sleeper you are. Look at my sleep. Look at that. Look at <sighs> what'd that. you get? I got. Uh, oh, look an at that. Eighty-six. I have never ever deep sleep fifty-nine minutes. I am so much better at sleeping than you. I never <laughs> ever have that highest score. Optimal. What's yours, timing? John? That's 32. more like mine. John got a 32, 32. last night. Look See, at all that red. now, honestly, you you probably in your body, you feel like you only got a little bit of sleep and you probably feel well rested. But it's good to go know what the factors are. And you'll also get insights like it'll say, you know, I noticed that on days that you exercise, you sleep better. Mm -hmm. Things like that. You can take notes. It's the daily feedback helps you understand your body, improve your health, reach your goals compete with your boss. I, I love the readiness insights because it, I, I know when I should work out hard for instance, and when I shouldn't. Uh, you get steps, of course, you get calories. It, it also uh, connects to Apple Health. So uh, because I use my Apple Watch to record workouts, that goes right into the Aura. Mm -hmm. it's, it's beautiful. They have a variety of shapes. We have what's called the balance shape, which has a little flat part on it, but there's also a perfectly round heritage shape. Uh, silver, black, stealth, and diamond. 
$299 for the silver or black, $399 for the stealth. There is a diamond version. This would be a great, wouldn't that be a cool engagement ring? Mm -hmm. $999 for the Aura Smart Ring Diamond. The battery lasts a long time, about a week. F charges really fast wire wirelessly. In fact, I'll show you the uh, charger, which I have on my dresser because it makes it very easy for me to charge it. It comes here in the box. And uh, so can I just pull this out? Yeah, I think I can. So the charger connects to a USB cable. You just put the ring on the charger. And uh, what I do is instead of charging it once a week, I will charge it when I take a shower for you know a few minutes every day. It always stays charged that way. It is really awesome. It'll the, also tell you when it needs to be charged, too. So yeah. It'll remind the you. The app will tell you. There's an app for iOS and Android. It gets updated all the time. And by the way, I get frequent firmware updates as well for the Aura, which is pretty cool. The uh, you got you got to just check it out. It's, it's the best way to make the most of your day. Now, bad news. After I sold you on all this, if you order now, you'll get it in May. They are incredibly sold out, as they should be. This thing is amazing. So, get right now to AuraRing.com, O-U-R-A-R-I-N-G, AuraRing.com, and use the code TWIT at checkout. You'll get $50 off your purchase, and if you order now, you'll get it by May, and it's a great gift for Mom's Day or graduate. AuraRing, O-U-R-A, AuraRing.com, use the offer code TWIT at checkout for $50 off your purchase, but don't put it off. There's Kevin. This is the best fitness device I've ever had. AuraRing.com. And we thank him so much for keeping us healthier and supporting iOS today. I have the perfect app cap. As do you. Wait a minute. <laughs> there seems to be a size disparity here. Yeah, this um, doesn't fit my head. <laughs> you think it fits mine? <laughs> uh Guadalajara. Did Actually, you really yours get this? is Cozumel. Oh, yeah. Mine is uh, from that famous Mexican town of Chili's. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> che Chevy's. 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 I don't know. Yeah. Where yours is from. Yeah. Chevy's. Chevy's. <laughs> um, why is it perfect? Are you? Are we going to Mexico? Or are we? Taking We're going a trip? down under to find the best <laughs> apps <laughs> you've ever seen. Um, <laughs> Yes, it's app cap time. As I mentioned earlier in the show. Isn't, don't they wear these in Australia? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that they wear these anywhere, um, <laughs> but okay. I've seen mariachi bands wearing this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, <coughs> this is uh, the apps we've been using this week or the apps we like. <laughs> and yeah, uh, hopefully you can take me seriously because this is a great app. It's called Wobot, W-O-E-B-O-T. Oh, give me that moment wide angle lens. I, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is Wobot? Wobot is, it, is a it, robot therapist. Oh. So Wobot. Is it good? Yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it I is need free. It. And Clearly. Um, it was de <laughs> developed uh, by um, a doctor. So, okay. So I've met, I've met Wobot. I've been using Wobot for a while on my iPhone and a different account. Oh, it's even my cute. Phone. Yeah, like that's Wobot. Um, when you start, you have to agree that everything is, you know, okay, everything's private, stored securely. They'll check in daily with you. Um, anonymized group data makes Wobot better. So there will be some data. So, okay, great. Let's get started. And I could say, yay, or okay, Wobot. I'll say yay, because I'm excited. And then Wobot will say, every day I'll check in with you. Speaking of, of how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling pretty happy, actually, so I'll say happy. And Wobot says, got it, Megan. You just completed your first check-in. Oh, my what? My what? As I, get to, as I get to know you better through these daily check-ins, we'll work together to uncover patterns in your mood. Cool. Oh, that's neat. So the more days you check in, the more you'll learn about yourself. So And the more Wobot learns about you. Right. Um, your check-ins. Who is Wobot? Wobot is an online therapist. Yeah, but I mean... But who's the company? Yeah, like... It's developed by doctors. As long as it's not Facebook, I don't care. <laughs> it's not Facebook. Okay. Um, it's developed actually by yes. a psychotherapist. Yes. Wow. Um, I like this idea. I do. And they it works with cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. CBT is very good for certain things. So it will yeah. ask you, like, what are you feeling? And you'll say, and maybe I'll write down, like, I think Leo hates me. And then... <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, why do you think that? I'm like, well, he took that unflattering picture of me and then he posted it, you know, and then posted Everywhere. it on the web. And it's like, yeah. maybe he'll say, well, maybe he thought that you, you know, you thought that was funny. Like he was just trying to make does a Does it actually joke, say but... insightful stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, it does. Wow, that's I'm, impressive. Yeah, so, and it gets better. So let's, let's say um, how. I should do this because um, I need therapy. I'll have a new way. story for you every day that shares practical skills for your well-being. Like what? For example, we'll soon talk about how thoughts, feelings, and behaviors all lead to each other and how research shows that we can use that to feel better in our daily w w lives. Can't wait. Okay, I've got months of stories ahead for you, all crafted for you by experts and grounded in research. Cool. How's Wobot spelled? W-O-E-B-O-T. Oh, like you've got woes. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. But if you're not feeling great, I've got dozens of tried and tested tools from the clinic to make you feel better. Is it free? It is free. Wow. It's just CD, CDB, CBT CBT. and DBT. What's DBT? Uh, dumb behavioral therapy. No, I don't it's, I don't know what it is. CBT uh, is cognitive behavioral cogn yes. therapy. Uh, I used to know what DBT was, but I don't remember. I've definitely practiced CBT with therapists that I've used in the past. It's, very it's been effective. helpful. Yeah. Um, it's not the only kind of therapy, but it is helpful because I do do a lot of like black and white thinking and all or nothing thinking and oh, everything's terrible. And if you actually spend I some noticed. time, is everything terrible? <laughs> Does Leo really hate me? So what if he hates me? What's the big deal? This is an interesting category because it really, if, I mean, therapy is a lot of people who, could valuably go to get a lot of value from therapy won't do it either because it's very expensive mm -hmm. or because it's embarrassing look at tony soprano he could have used <laughs> robot no that it's embarrassing it's sure it still is embarrassing now, a lot of people so. there's a stigma oh right. i don't want to see a shrink sure you know nothing wrong with me or, i don't know why there you know I there wish shouldn't there be a stigma i agree but uh you know there, there is, and so this might be a way for people mm -hmm. to get that kind of or cost. I mean, you said cost, but also yeah. time. Like, who has the time? Um, I'm concerned that I don't know how if it's as effective as a real human. In fact, I'm no, sure it's not. No, and they not. said it's not as effective as yeah. a real human. And if you know, it 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 has certain triggers in there. Like, if you say suicide, it's going to you know it's going to call the police immediately. Uh, it won't. It won't call the police, but oh. it will. Like, it, you know, you can type in SOS, and they'll give you. The They're number. legally required if you do show indicators right. that you're suicidal mm -hmm. they're legally required to report so i'm sure a therapist certainly are so then you can see um if you show my screen now you can see like it will show your mood over time so like i said i have i've been using this with a different account because i didn't want to share you my specific fears and oh things. rats but um, but mine has a little chart of my mood over time and it'll well, ask you like what are you doing right so now you've are you used working? a real human therapist and yeah. you've used this do you feel like it is valuable um i feel like it is of value in the moment, right? right. Like, but not for a long term. But like if you're feeling really like, oh, everything is horrible. You can kind of dump it yeah. out into there. And then yeah. it does like gratitude practice, you know, which it's people good. say is woo woo, but it's like, it'll say oh, like, good. you know, think about one thing that was great over the last 24 hours. And good. then what yeah. about another and another? And that stuff is proven. So in the moment, for long term, like I don't think it's better than yeah. a therapist. But if you yeah. don't have the money for a therapist and you don't have the time or if there is a stigma, um, this is great. It's private. Um, it's free. It's, it's a fun. robot just yeah. for you. So, um, yeah. And they and answer some of these questions uh, on the site. Yeah. W O E B O T. Whoa. Whoa. Um, yeah. So, you know, um, for my app cap, we've talked before about Halide, which is a really, really great and I think um, well worth buying camera app for your iPhone. Uh, one of the things that the folks who did Halide really got into the low-level system that Apple uses to get great images. Halide is one of the few third-party apps that will give you access to the, for instance, the 3D rendering that comes from the front-facing camera, things like that. So it's a very powerful program. One of the things that came out of all this research and understanding is uh, a better understanding of how to do very low-light photography. Mm -hmm. And they've released a new app for that called Spectre. So Spectre does some of the things. It actually could be used. There's Halide. It can be used. It's the same site. Uh, and Spectre is their brand new one. Uh, it can be used not just in the dark. In fact, it's really best. Well, here's an example. A picture of a bridge normally full of traffic. But go ahead and slide the slider. You'll see this photo was taken when there were lots of cars on the bridge. 
but that's one of the things, uh, 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 time-lapse photography, not time-lapse, what do you call it when you take a long exposure? Uh, oh, long, long exposure. exposure I think long exposure photography. I believe that's what it's will called. Will get rid of people because it only, sh you know, really shows the stuff that's there a long time. You could use this to get pictures of the stars. It will take hundreds of images over a long period of time. You can get traffic, you know, if one of the fun things to do with, a uh, long exposure photography is get traffic lights. Look at the Golden Gate Bridge. And you see how the water looks soft like that? These are the kinds of techniques professionals and serious photographers often use with regular cameras that are very hard to do with the uh, iPhone. You have uh, some settings here. It has, a by the way, a built-in stabilizer, and it'll even show you, see, this is the stabilizer, when you're jiggling. So it helps you. You don't have to use a tripod, although it does have a tripod sensor. And when it's on a tripod, it will do an even better job. Um, it will show you, um, th this guide is really great. It'll show you all the things you can do. Take a shot in a crowded place and make people disappear. Turn a highway into a dazzling river of light. Get soft water in a waterfall. So those are some of the things uh, we were talking about. Uh, Spectre is not the only camera you're going to want to use. It is a great camera to have in your collection. You can turn up the amount of time you spend in the exposure. It takes hundreds of images. Uh, it's doing some really smart stuff. We can also uh, say, do we want light trails on or off? So if you know you're going to do that traffic stuff, it'll it'll intentionally sh shoot for light trails. Uh, or if you don't want light trails, it'll turn it off. This is really fun. I would check it out. Spectre. Uh, right now it's on sale. It's not very expensive. What is, I can't remember what it was. $2.99. Yeah. I think they're going to charge more later. But I wanted you to know about it because it just came out from the Halide folks. And it's probably a good idea to jump on this. Everything that they've created, I think, is really valuable. I guess it's not going to be that valuable if I move for around? a portrait. Oh, yeah. If you move around, it gets really interesting. Because I've set this to a nine-second exposure. Are you ready for this? Uh-huh. Get ready for the <laughs> Is it weirdest, better than the last The one? weirdest picture of Megan you ever saw. Well, it's... Uh, oh, that's great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's softer. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, certainly fun to play with. I think this is a better picture of Megan. <laughs> I'm just going to go back to that for fun. Uh, but, and there, but, there, but it's certainly... Uh, oh, oh, this is kind of cool, too. You can watch it uh, happen over time, so... Let me oh. uh, let me go back to this, and I'll press this button. Watch, you can see her slowly oh, blurring herself oh, out. Oh, yeah, really fun. Spectre. Yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah, yeah. You should just have it for a couple of bucks. You should absolutely mm -hmm. have it. And I really, I have used this technique because uh, you know a lot of times when you go to places, I went to the pyramids in Egypt, mm -hmm. and, and you go there, and there's just people everywhere, and you want to just get a picture of the of the pyramids. Uh, this technique is a great technique. No, it used to be you'd have to have a fancy camera. They could do, you know, five-second exposures or longer. You needed a tripod. This is handheld. It works with the iPhone camera, and it does a great job. Spectre. Do you ever worry that people take us less seriously when we're talking about these apps because we're wearing funny hats? I don't worry about it. I celebrate it. <laughs> okay. Good. Are you and trying to get rid of the app cap? Um, no. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best part of the show. Yeah. Um, we could do the app stash. Where you wear a little mustache. Oh, yeah. 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 Different Maybe mustaches different mustaches every, every... Yeah. That's a good idea. Maybe not. All right. If you have great <laughs> ideas like that, Megan at twit.tv, email me. I love to hear them. Uh, you can also uh, join us doing the uh, live broadcast, which shifts a little bit from time to time. Mm -hmm. It's supposedly Tuesdays, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Uh, that would be uh, 1700 UTC. Actually, uh, sometimes Leo's late and mm -hmm. it's a little later. But you know what? Start. Uh, get, get get your cup of coffee, sit down, relax, watch whatever's going on, and uh, join us as we go live sometime between 9 and 10 a.m. on uh, Tuesday mornings. It, that that uh, stream, audio or video, is twit.tv slash live. Uh, you can also join us in the chat room, irc.twit.tv, and now you know how to do a picture-in-picture. -picture. You can do both at the same time on your iPad. Uh, if you uh, don't want to watch live on-demand versions of everything we do are available wherever you get your podcasts, or on our website, twit.tv slash iOS for this show. And, of course, we're on Pandora, as we mentioned. That's brand new. Spotify, Stacker, Slacker, Stitcher. <laughs> we're on Stacker, too. We're not whatever, on that, Stacker. whatever that is, we're, we're on, on Slacker it. and Stitcher. I call them Stature. Uh, <laughs> Stacker and Slitcher. <laughs> you know what we're on. 
<laughs> I, I think I'm going to downgrade my sleep here. Uh, this is definitely not working. We're on Slacker and Stitcher. We're on Pocket Casts, Overcast, Apple's Podcast, Google's Podcast. I can go on and on, but I don't need to because if you just go to twit.tv slash iOS, you'll find the whole list. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Really, Megan doesn't, uh, I don't hate Megan. She doesn't hate me, and no. I'm not as mean to her as I seem. Right? <laughs> Thanks right. for joining us. We'll see you next <laughs> We'll see you next time on iOS Today. <laughs>